Hello guys, and welcome back to Jolly Rover. So, I just loaded the game up again, and to be honest, I barely had an idea of what I was doing. So, yeah, I was escaping, but I had to go through the caverns where uh, Clara's ship was. And then we can uh, get off this island. Um, right, so I remember voices in the, ca in the caves, and not having a clue around and uh essentially I asked Juan uh and he gave the tip uh you should be uh listening to what you can't see uh which then reminded me of that's that a spell that I saw in here uh it's not drop fruit voices of the dead yeah that, it seems like it's 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 got to be that right uh hear that whisper sweet nothings in your ear and conveniently, you need rum and a large curved seashell. And a conch will do, and guess what we have, right? So, I'll fill the conch with rum, by the looks of it. And I'll draw a circle of gunpowder. I don't have gunpowder, though, do I? I think I do. I sure don't. Huh. Well, okay, well, let's use rum on the conch. This should stop any crabs taking up residence. Okay, well, that's something. Pinchy will never be able to find it here. Okay. This stump is sporting a fine conch. So it is. Um, as for gunpowder, though. Um, well, owner of uh, Juan can help me. Well, it would probably be in the stockade, right? Would be in one of those houses, I guess. Uh, hey. Well, blow me down. If it don't be Jolly Rover swaggering around like he owns the place. Howell? How be life treating you, Jolly? Oh, fine, I suppose, but... Wait, what are you doing in there? That mangy dog, De Silva! Hello? You're not alone in there? Oi! De Silver be keeping us captains apart for the crew, while he be looking for a Captain Silveroy. He'll never get his claws on Clara. I'll claw his eyes out, damn him. Arr, she be a fiery one. So jolly me pop. How about getting us out of this predicament? Um, why would I help you? Why should I help you? After all I done for you. Nothing. Taking you in, giving you work. Stolen my cargo, left me on an island to die. Aye, if he be getting us out, I be giving you all the gunpowder ye can eat. Gunpowder? That's my gunpowder, you filthy dog! Aye, it be all I can offer ye in the current circumstances. Well, <laughs> 50 pieces of eight. <laughs> Alright, go for it. 50 pieces of eight. Ah, jolly. Why not make it a hundred? Yes. Yes, one hundred. And me ship too. How about that? Uh... Listen, Jolly. Ye best be focusing on what ye can get now. Ain't that right, me lovely? I'll cut off your paws. Aye, ye might be giving me a wooden leg too. You mangy mongrel. Get us out, and I be giving ye a fair supply of gunpowder. Alright. Um, alright, let's get you out of there. Good thing that I actually just while walking there, I kind of just went. I never clicked on those, did I? And uh, turns out I hadn't. So, if I hadn't just randomly got that thought, I would have just gone in, you know, entered the camp and looked around there and probably got stuck. <laughs> so, hooray for randomness! All right, let's get you out of there. Er, there's me pup. Just be getting the keys off this guard here. What guard? One of the Silver's lackeys be in here guarding the door. Hmm. How do I get you out of there? I be thinking ye lure out the guard. Then ye be smacking him on the head and taking his keys. Simple and elegant. <laughs> let's just ask him how to lure him out. Doesn't make much sense, but uh, let's do it. How can I lure the guard out? I don't know. Dancing like a monkey. Ooh. Making some noise or something. 
figure something out, right? So, you and Butcher, eh? Er, we be getting on fine. Only try to kill me twice. In your dreams, you mangy mongrel. All things considered, it ain't so bad. You have to sleep sometime. Best ye be getting the keys, Jolly. Hmm. Why does the Silver want Clara? He's her uncle. Family reunion, maybe? But knowing the Silver, it won't be so touching. I'll tear out his eyes. Don't go anywhere. Arr. Don't go anywhere. Nice one. Thor, do it. I suppose that knock isn't getting me in anymore. Hmm, guess not. I... I don't believe knocking... Yeah, alright. Um... What is, though? What is? What is gonna get me in? Am I supposed to climb up through the palm tree? I don't think so. Let's try that trick again. No, that's not going to get me anywhere. Um, well, let's ask Quan because there's no way around or anything, is there? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that whoa there, it's just, uh, apparently, it's, there's lightning. That scared the shit out of me, considering... And there's thunder. Great. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem for the recording, so I'm just going to review that footage, see if it uh, picks it up. So, one second. Alright, I'm back. It's uh, it's quite a bit later, actually. Um, a storm actually just passed over, which uh, I wasn't aware of. I wasn't expecting it, so yeah. It's only raining now, so it uh, should be fine, should be fine. My microphone didn't seem to pick it up, but uh, it's very annoying for me as well, so. <laughs> um, yeah, right. So, I did one thing, actually, or, well, two, I guess, um, if you look at that. I, considering I had, well, I had them in the book, in the voodoo book, I just uh, performed them once, just uh, wrote them down and uh, performed them so I could uh, use the shortcut, save myself a bit of hassle, and, uh, yeah, making fun of myself, really. Um, so, right, I wanted to know how the hell I would get, well, let them escape, right? So, how the hell am I going to get in? I don't think there's any other ways in, is there? So, it has to do something with the cauldron. Uh, let's see what the uh, Juan has Hello, to say. Hello, Juan. Oh, hi there, matey. Um, well, let's check, just to make sure that I'm not uh, going off into something I'm not supposed to do yet. What am I supposed to be doing now? Find a red herring. Get to Clara's ship. Haul anchor and shove off, ye pox face mongrel. Yeah, but... Wait. But I need gunpowder to do that, so... I'm having trouble. Uh, freeing the captains, yeah. Well, not, not necessarily freeing the captains. I just need access to the guard, and from there I, I'm sure I can figure something. Um, freeing the captains. A corny dance might give ye a chance. A corny dance. A corny dance. Something to do with this. What? Some of that food that I got. Bird feet. Uh, that's not going to help, is it? Okay, just got info. Do you have any more information? Crack air, crack air. Yeah, stuff your face. Okay. Here you go. Down the hatch! Be looting some corn from the bird feeder at the waterfall. Be sticking it in the big cauldron outside the stockade. Then be casting the heat iron spell while standing near the pot. Basically, okay. popcorn. That's all better than. And that would be the distraction, and he'd come running outside and then I can somehow sneak in? Is that the idea? That's... well... I can kind of see that, All except... Right, let's give this a shot. Whoa. 
Did I already heat that? <laughs> May Charge! have. Charge! Now what? Hey, where did the attackers go? They, uh, ran off when they saw you coming. Oh, good thing too. They wouldn't have stood a chance. Right. Hey, what are you doing here? Let's just say I fell in with the wrong crowd. What happened to your head? What happened to your head? I was standing by the fort, minding my own business, when, bam, a coconut lands on me head. Oh, that's unlucky. Governor halved my pay for lying down on the job. Ha. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's such a bitchy thing to do. I <laughs> just freaking laughed at him. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad now. No, I don't. Not really. <laughs> Um, so about those pirates, eh? About those pirates you're guarding. That one, no, that, that's not going anywhere. Never mind. So, having fun on Cannibal Island? I'm stuck puppy-sitting these prisoners while everyone else strolls the island looking for some silver eye. Right, fun. About those pirates you're guarding. Hmm, and I totally figured this wouldn't go anywhere, but, uh, oh well, uh, give me the keys, you won't get, no. Can you please let them go? Ha <laughs> ha! You're serious? The governor left me in charge of these prisoners, which means if they get out, I'm dog meat. But what if they overpowered you somehow? Huh, I'd like to see them try. Give me the keys and you won't get hurt. <laughs> well, <laughs> Cad. <laughs> All right, I see. Well, assuming that if I quit out of this conversation, he still stands there. Then clearly, you're supposed to drop another coconut on his head, right? Never mind. Carry on. Yep. Totally supposed to do that again. I can't use the. Ch I can't use no, the no, cheat sheet with that. Fine. Let's try that trick again. Indeed, let's try it again. Because it worked well the first time. Uh, drop fruit. E uh, e <laughs> maybe it only works if someone is standing in the right spot under the tree. Or maybe some trees are just jerks. I say the latter, clearly. Thanks again, Rufus. <laughs> Uh, uh, you done good, Jolly. Kindly be passing the keys here. <laughs> I be thanking ye, Jolly. Please be accepting this gunpowder as a token of me thanks. Why, how? I don't know what to say. You be always welcome in me crew, James. Call me Jolly. Arr. Now that you've finished sniffing each other's butts, I've got a ship to get back. Yeah, now you're talking. I've got a boat we can use. Oi, that be mighty kind of you. I'm still going to kill you once I've dealt with the silver. I be looking forward to it. Ye be welcome to be joining us, Jolly. No, you two have fun. After you, madam. Such a nice couple. Right, off to the caverns, or well, the tree stump first. To make that uh, voodoo spell work. Right, gunpowder. I hope this doesn't have to be too accurate. Well, I'd say that's a pretty accurate circle, mate. You did well. I've got quite a little craft project going on here. So you do. Um, right. Well, let's go for it, I guess. I can't use the cheat sheet. Um, Voices of the Dead. Ooh, ee, ah, ooh. Oh boy. What? What was that? I believe I've just made a ghost hearing aid. You are full of surprises. Indeed. Ooh, it's vibrating. <laughs> he sounds a bit too excited uh, about that. <laughs> 